Hello YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with a video that I have been looking forward to making for quite a while now. At least since March, but in particular since June when I put my pre-order in for this device. So in this video, I'm going to sort of unbox, and I'll explain that in a minute, and take a first look at what I think could be one of the coolest new blindness products we will be seeing this year in 2020. So Orbit Research is a company that some of you may have heard of, and in 2017, I believe it was, they came out with the Orbit Reader 20, which was the first like low-cost or lower-cost braille display. Well, at the CSUN conference in Anaheim, California, I learned that they were coming out with three new braille products, and two of them really interested me. So they came out, they announced an Orbit Reader 20 Plus, which has built-in braille translation. And then the two that excited me were the Orbit Reader 40, which is a 40 cell braille display and also the first Orbit display with cursor routing keys, and another little device. That device is the Orbit Writer. And as the name implies, Orbit Writer, it is a Bluetooth braille keyboard and USB, it does USB as well, but it is a braille keyboard. So it's not a braille display. You know, it's a Braille input device. And what intrigued me about it was, well, the description excited me, but also the fact that the retail price of this is 99 bucks. I know there have been other products on the market like this, like the Braille Pen Slim, and there may have even been another one, but they were like 300. So the fact this was 100 really caught my attention. And then I found out that a company that I have a lot respect for, AT Guys, would be a distributor for it. So I decided that I would pre-order through them. So this came from AT Guys, and I received it yesterday. However, I was traveling, that being August 6th, I was traveling and on a bit of a vacation, so I did not get it until today. August 7th, 2020. So again, this came from AT Guys. Now, the reason I'm calling this a partial Orbit Writer unboxing is this mainly came in an envelope. Look one of those um, shipping envelopes, which is cool. And all the items then were in the envelope, so there wasn't much of a, a product box, but everything did come nicely packaged. So I'm going to tell you what's in there, and then we're going to finish unwrapping the Orbit Writer because I haven't done that yet. So one of the things, these might not be in the order that they'll be in your box, but you get some documentation here. And from AT Guys, if you order from them, I got a little Braille card, which reads, Thank you for purchasing the Orbit Writer from AT Guys. For questions, please email. It gives an email address and a phone number. So that's a nice little thing. And then there's some printed documentation. So I'm going to set that off to the side over here. And we also have, I believe, to be a micro USB cord. Now, I have one kind of set up here, so although they might recommend using the one that came with it, I am just going to use the one I have over here connected. Okay, and finally, we have the package containing the Orbit Rider itself. Now, this is small. At least it looks very small. And it is wrapped kind of in a bubble wrap. So... I'm going to work on unwrapping it 
And once I get it unwrapped and opened, um, I will let you see me power this up for the first time, and I will try and pair it with my iPhone XR. So I'm filming actually from a different device at the moment, but so that I could show this. And wait, we actually just kind of got the keyboard out. As I was fiddling. Okay, so I'm gonna put this bubble wrap off to the side and we'll take our first look at the Orbit Writer. Wow! Oh my goodness, this thing is cute! Look at this! Wow, I didn't know what to expect. So, in terms of a layout of keys, so this is the front of it. Wow, people have described it as kind of being like the Orbit Reader, except. Um, no braille display, like the, just the top half. And that's really what this actually feels like. Um, all right, so you have your six braille keys, so dot three, dot two, dot one. And then kind of in the middle, but slightly lower, is an arrow pad with up, like a select key, down, left and right, dot four, yeah, dot four, dot five, dot six, and then the next row is dot seven, which usually would serve as like backspace, space bar, and dot eight, which could be your enter key. So I'm holding this in my hand. I can comfortably hold that in one hand. This is, wow, <laughs> this is really cute. <laughs> um, okay, again, I just wanna stress, cause I don't know if I did already, this is not a tutorial. I will do a more thorough kind of review slash tutorial in, well, I don't wanna give a exact time frame, but certainly before the summer's over and before I get swapped with college work again. <laughs> um, and then on the left side, there's the micro USB charging port. And the other side, there's nothing. And looks like there's a serial number and other things on the back. Let's see if that's, yes, that's printed. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this Orbit writer in to power, and as I said, I'm going to use um, a micro USB cable that I have sitting here. So I'm going to put the phone down so I can do this, and I'll come back when that is done. And you, know, you may hear the device vibrate when I connect this, because I've read the manual and it says that's what should happen here. So, okay, I'll be right back. So I've connected the the plug and it did a quick little vibration pulse to say that it was charging. So now I'm going to power on the unit and as I understand from reading the manual to do that we need to depress both the up arrow and down arrow together. Now I'm going to hold this in my hand while I do it. Oh wait a minute. Okay, it just vibrated, so it must be on. So I'm going to grab my iPhone XR here. Try again. Okay, come on. Pass code field, zero blind as dash folder, five apps. Okay, so it's unlocked. Settings, one new item. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, first note, sound, do not, screen, general, control, display, and accessibility. Well, accessibility. Voiceover. Accessibility features, big voiceover, on, button. Voice over, on, button, voice over, on, speaking rate, 60, verbosity, button, braille, button, output, contracted, button, and input, braille table, status, equation, show up, turn, word wrap, alert display, TV bounce, choose the braille display, searching, dimmed, in progress, searching, dimmed. Okay, it says it's searching. In progress, searching, dimmed. Give it a sec here, hopefully. In searching, dimmed, searching, dimmed. Okay, this still says searching. Searching, dimmed. Let me go back. Braille, heading, voice over, back button, voice over. 
speech button verbosity braille button output contracted button searching end okay Ju searching let's see if i can restart the device um <laughs> Okay, so it is powered off now because it just did a longer vibration. So I'm going to turn it back on. Searching end. Choose a braille display. Searching end. Okay, I'm having a technical difficulty here. Searching end. Again, this is not. This is why this is not a tutorial. Okay, so Searching what I'm going to do. Settings. I restart both devices, my phone. Emergency slides are power off. That's off, and now I'm gonna power off the orbit writer. Again, holding the up and down keys together. And it's powered off as it is vibrated. And let's turn the phone on. Passcode field, zero of four values entered. Okay. Secure text field, yeah, passcode pass is required code. when phone restarts. Safari, low battery, low power, close button. I wonder if that has anything wow. to do with it. I'm Safari. going to just plug my phone in as well. Okay, so iPhone is plugged in. Let's see, voiceover settings. Let's take a look at the settings for voiceover. Settings, speech, button, verbosity, braille, button. Okay, so before I go into braille settings, I'll power the orbit writer on. <laughs> And we'll go into Braille. Output. Searching. End. Still says searching. Searching. End. Okay. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end the video for now. I'll play around with it and I'll come back when I have it figured out. Okay. So that was the unboxing and first boot of it, but let's see if I can get it. Once I get it up and running, I'll be back to report on what happened. Okay, so I officially give myself a grade of F, which is why I said this video was not a tutorial. Um, I realized I was not doing an important key command on the Orbit Writer, which that key command puts the Orbit Writer in pairing mode. <laughs> no wonder why my phone wouldn't see it. Okay, let's try this now that I think I know what I'm doing. Voiceover settings. Here are the settings for voiceover. Settings. Voiceover. Braille. Verbosity. Button. Braille. Button. Okay, so I've got Braille settings ready to go. I'm going to power on the Orbit Writer again. <laughs> and it is vibrated. Now the command you need to do to get this in pairing mode is space with dot one and left arrow and hold it. <laughs> All right, let's go into braille settings. Output, contracted, button. Input, contract, braille screen input, uh, six dot, braille tape, status cells, button, equations, use method, choose a braille display. In progress, orbit reader, two, zero, zero, three, zero, three. Here it is. Paired, so it's listed as an orbit reader, I'll double tap. Orbit reader, two, zero, zero, three, zero, three, pairing. Orbit reader, two zero zero three zero three connected, connected, button, selected, orbit reader, two zero zero three zero three connected, connected, button. Okay, it says it's connected, so what I'm going to do is, the manual recommends that you lock it, and it's vibrating, because I, the connection was lost, but if I unlock, okay. Settings, voiceover, back button. So what I'm going to do now is, oops, I should have done the command, I'm going to simply use space with dot four to move around. Information folder, photos, camera, calculator. Clock, 6.55 TV, ah. wallet, home, Ooh. wallet, TV, clock, calculator, camera, photos, information fold, safari, safari. All right, now I'm going to invoke Siri and open up notes. Open notes. Notes. Okay. Notes. So... Folders, back button. New note, button. I just jump to the bottom with space dots 456, and I'll need to do space with 36 to activate. And we are now in edit mode. So now we have a blank note, and I'm going to type a few things. 
So let's see how this works. I'm gonna put the phone down so I can type. So, and you should hear some echo from the phone. Okay, so I'm deleting with backspace. I've deleted everything, so let's just start over again. Hello. This. Space. Okay. It's definitely typing, but I might be doing something wrong. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to home by trying an H chord. Is Safari. So the space is acting up a little bit, but then again, I'm still learning how to use this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to power it off and I think we'll end the video here because I think I've covered what I want to for this one. So let's power off with holding the two up and down keys. And you heard the iPhone make the little um, braille display disconnected sound, and it looks like we are unplugged. All right, so that was a bit of a rocky start here, and it's my own fault because I didn't look at the manual. Well, I did a long time ago, but I forgot that you had to put the device in pairing mode. Oh, goodness. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found that maybe a little comedic. And again, stay tuned because I will do more of a tutorial slash review type of deal, giving my full thoughts on the Orbit Writer once I've had it a while. So I've been super excited to review this device and I'm so excited to have it here in my possession finally. Felt like it's been a while, although it really wasn't. I think it was about June 5th or so I put my pre-order in. And here it is. Let's just get a good look at it there. Um, so again, I purchased mine from AT Guys at ATGUYS dot com. So um, I can put a link to that in the description actually. I'd highly recommend ordering from them. But of course, there are some other places you can pick up the Orbit Writer, including Orbit Research directly. So, okay, well, I think that's it for this video. Stay tuned, more content on the way. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.